Evi Anton and Gaia are without a win so far in 2013. In six games, they have picked up only four points and have scored only three goals. Their last league and win came back on December the 12th, coincidentally the same day on which Montpellier last claimed a victory on the road. The champions have improved in recent weeks though, with three wins in their last four games. It was an early chance for Evian in the 14th minute as their Danish defender Daniel Vass lofted forward for Yannick Sagbo. The Franco Ivorian couldn't control the ball. Jeffrey Jordan no doubt relieved to see it drift wide. Sagbo's left knee apparently the culprit here. On the half hour mark, John Utaka clipped forward for Eunice Belhanda, who found Anthony Mounier in space. The former Nice man denied by an impressive rush from Bertrand Lacquet, who easily captured the follower. And that was the best chance of the first half, as the teams went in goalless at the break. Into the second half, and from the kickoff, Marco Estrada sent a long ball forward for Munio, who appeared to get to the ball ahead of Lacco. Referee Stefan Lenoir was unmoved. 20 minutes from time, Evian's Cedric Barbosa tried his luck with this free kick, forcing a superb save from Jordan to keep the scoreline level. Another Barbosa free kick here, this time for Saber Khalifa, who saw his shot blocked by Henry Bedimo. Montpellier set off on the counter, with Belhanda sweeping right for Emmanuel Herrera. The Argentine stayed ahead of Vass, but saw his attempt roll just wide of the mark. In the 75th minute, Estrada had a go from 30 yards out and he can certainly hit them from distance. The Chilean's effort rifling just over the bar. Into the 80th minute with Bedimo setting Mounier away down the left. He got away from Cedric Mongongu and squared for Belhanda, who turned Vass superbly before slotting home for 1-0. Fine work from Mounier cutting in from the left here and a composed finish from the Moroccan international for his eighth goal of the season. And that goal was enough to see Montpellier take all three points and go sixth on Saturday night. They will now look ahead to a tricky fixture list in March when they face Rennes, Nice and Paris Saint-Germain. 1-0, the final score.